Hello, Namaskar and a very good evening to all the viewers watching NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through eVidya channel number 6 to 12. Besides our viewers, you can watch this particular live telecast through different mediums. And one of them is our YouTube channel that is NCRT official. So it's around 4 p.m. on your watch and regularly from 4 till 5 p.m. We have our special sessions for all of you and once again I would like to take this moment to welcome all our viewers in the journey of National ICT Awardee Teacher. Now just providing you a glimpse of who National ICT Awardee Teachers are. They are the resource persons of the nation who have contributed immensely in the process of teaching and learning by coming up with new interventions in the field of ICT. And also viewers, we showcase their journey to all of you so that you can be motivated and inspired by the journey of National ICT Awardee Teachers. So before introducing you to the recipient of National ICT Award, here is an important piece of information for all of you. As you all know that we are proud of the fact that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in this year, that's 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency is a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so, manifesting the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. So uh, now it's the moment for which we were all waiting. The National ICT Awardee who has joined with us in today's conversation, he is none other than Mr. Mohan K.R. Sir. Namaskar Sir, good evening. We welcome you in our conversation. Sir is serving as a bloke resource person for Krishna Rajapete, Mandya District, Karnataka. And I would also like to take our viewers across your journey. He is a biology teacher and he has been serving as a teacher from the past 20 years. He has trained more than 1200 high school teachers on basic computer knowledge for integrating computer in the teaching pedagogy. Also, he has been constantly supporting his faculty and students on clearing doubts for various subjects like science and mathematics. A very warm welcome to you sir in the conversation and viewers in this live session if you have any of the queries anything you would like to ask or know from us then here is the contact number that's flashing on your screens you may kindly note it down it is 8800440559 and the specific mail id through which you all can reach out to us is training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in so without further ado let's begin the conversation and mohan sir i request you to shed some flowers from your bouquet of knowledge with all our viewers hello good evening all myself mohan kaya working as a block resource person in kr pete sraja pete mandya district and in karnataka state so from past I worked as a teacher for 20 years. I integrated the ICT pedagogy in teaching science. I got a national award ICT in 2017. The award given for the work of a year or a month is not a year and a month. It is to be a journey for as I am become a teacher. So how my professional development has to be done and how I integrated and what are the no, what are the pedagogies and what are the method of teaching I involve to teach the students as science concepts. Basically, the experience will make us to do something different. My school studies are all in the government schools in the rural areas. My teachers were teaching the concepts by only with the blackboards. By standing behind in front of the blackboard, they are teaching the concepts. They never shown the pictures. They never shown the videos at that time. It is to be the in 1980s and 90s. So if we teach something, the student should understood and he should visualize what the thing is to be taught. Otherwise, if the student would not realize, the concept would not be understood. So the main 
concept of mime in teaching pedagogy is the student should visualize each and every words what we will thought in the classroom so my journey of ict actually i am a biology teacher when i am in, as a student the teachers were teaching simply by telling the words the biology we will see in lots of terminologies so the students would understood the terminologies of the biological science then only it will becomes easy for them otherwise it is very difficult to remember the concepts so taxonomy will comes in taxonomy we will say lots of animals different classifications their features how can he understand without seeing the pictures of that animal or seeing live that animal so in 2000 actually in 2000 i started learning basic computers windows 98 so when i am in 9 msc classes so two things is to be or uh, in 1917 i think of the two persons in 19 and 19 will becomes very famous in world popular world in world so one is to be the dr wilmot has he developed a clone first time sheep dummy and another one was the bill gates he developed the windows and microsoft in 1997 as the windows has came some people are started to learn the computer we never seen the computer at that time and even though in the schools we never seen the colored pictures colored videos color tvs are not be available when we are to be in the schools of primary or high schools and the phone has came the mobile phone has came in 2001 2002 up to that we are using the landlines so technology is very low when the windows 98 has came i to told i to learn i to want to learn the windows 98 so at that time windows the learning the windows itself is to be a big task the fees is to be high they are asking 10000 5000 at that time it is to be a big amount maybe it is to be small now but 10000 in 1998 is to be very big amount so some has to be insulted teased me because i am a biology what you will do learning computer did you dissect cockroach or a frog in the computer they are insulting us no need for a biology students to learn the computer so once we will get insulted definitely we will come out and we will grow definitely the history is there mohandas karamchand gandhi when he was insulted in south african railway station he became a mahatma gandhi baba saheb ambedkar lots of insults he made him to develop the constitution so these teasings why the biology teacher or a biology need a computer so now we are dissecting the cockroach we are dissecting the frogs in the computer in animations in virtual laboratories now we are not dissecting a live animal it is to be prohibited so now we are using the computers so i learned computer in 2000 started to learn windows microsoft so later simply i used this computer by purchasing some series like azurite series so this human human body so this be the old age series what i to be purchased when i purchased the computer to show the anatomy in the animated anatomy to the students because the charts are not available few charts are to be in english so we cannot show all the pictures in the charts and we cannot buy the charts and is not available also so at that time i started <clears throat> try to show the animations in the series and one of my friend was running a dtp center so there what i done is it is to be the photos what i have collected and printed c so a4 size photos i downloaded then i printed i named 
edited to show the pictures at least what is the sponges what is porifera how they will like so if you say simply on the blackboard or writing porifera phylum porifera the sponges those are to be sedimentary they are the animals they would not move so how the student will imagine without seeing the pictures so the pictures animations videos charts are to be very important in the classroom so observation and visualization so once we will observe we should visualize then only we should understand the concepts in the classrooms if i will tell i will tell a story on a cats definitely all the students will visualize a cat that is to be the domestic cat like this if i say in the room a white cat is sleeping then their visualization will change the picture will change as in white cat and i will say another black cat coming through the window their imagination changes they visualize the black cat so this visualization is very important same way if i am telling the amphibians i am teaching the amphibians i tell sorry antarctica if it say actually because the antarctica is very interesting for me when i am in the 8th standard the science teacher has teaching me the biospheres in that the antarctica a place is there this full of ice a field full ice so like that he is saying in front of blackboard without showing how antarctica is there how can we imagine so we are seeing the ice candies so we think that we friends ought to be sir if you would go there we will eat lots of ice we don't have the concepts so there he says there in animals like penguins are there seals are there polar bear is there so he has not showing any pictures the penguin the new world for us so how can i visualize how can the image will comes if you say the penguin then i came to my neighbor's home he is biology lecturer i asked sir my sir has told the antarctica is there a place where it is full of ice like that yeah and he shown the picture from soviet magazine so he was the subscriber of that one so he shown the picture of the antarctica and he shown the penguins these are to be the penguins these are the birds these are the flightless birds then we came an idea and we can visualize the penguins what they are if in the examination they will ask the animals write the animals found in the antarctica then we can easily write the penguin seal and then the polar bear because we can visualize that one so same way our sir has told the people there near the antarctica they will live in the igloo igloo is again the new world so we are confused sir igloo what is that igloo igloo is nothing but a house in the nearby antarctica where the ice is there they will build an igloo he is not showing the picture how can i imagine how can i came to know that concept of igloo actually my friend one of the friend has to be told that sir is uh, not pronouncing that properly it is an ilu ilu because the famous song is there at that time so it is not an ilu it is an iglo iglo means this like it is to be so if they show the pictures definitely we will came to an idea how it is an iglo is and we never forget that concepts same way if you would say the amphibians so usually we will give an example of frog so the frog is an amphibian and the visualize the people say yes the frog is there so if you show this picture actually it is a toad so toad is a new word frog they came to know but toad if you say what is the toad he will ask so we will show the frog and the toad what is the difference between the frogs and the toads and both are to be the amphibians and also we will say legless amphibian is there 
the teacher if without showing the legless amphibian ichthyophis the word again the new one to the students if i say the ichthyophis is a legless amphibian how can he remember that name in the exams they will ask the limbless amphibian or uh, legless limbless amphibians are that is to be the ichthyophis the students could not visualize that one so some pictures are there so it is to be like the figures this be drawn it is to be there in the pic, uh, textbooks also or uh, ichthyophis it has the good parental care amphibian it brings his all the eggs in his body so like this uh, we will explain everything but without showing how it is and sometimes we say legless or limbless means it is just like a snake so snake the misconceptions will becomes to the students sir told ichthyophis it is to be snake like so first time i to think that ichthyophis means it is a very big animal then when i seen the picture so in the hand it is to be in the sense so ichthyophis where it is believes mainly in the rainy regions the ichthyophis will be found so if we can't see in live at least we can see these pictures in the computers and how it is to be care parental care how it will takes so all we can explain with showing this picture if we explain the concept with the pictures then only the students will completely he will be memorized all these concepts and we called as a tiled amphibian so newt newt if i giving the example but i am not showing the picture means the students cannot remember the newt so how it will looks it looks like a lizard sir it looks like a lizard not it not a lizard it is not a reptile it is an amphibian this is the difference this is the evolution so how evolution will be occur if the student want to learn the evolution he want to learn the taxonomy he should learn the taxonomy if you should understand the evolution and biology he should study the taxonomy of animals the taxonomy itself is to be very difficult for the students to remember all the new words new animals new species their names how they are to be looks like and we will say flying mammal lemur lemur this is to be the lemur i too confused how this lemur is saying flying mammal lemur is there so where it is so then i search and i got the picture of the lemur so this is to be the flying lemur this is to be the common lemur so we have to show the students what that is so how it looks at least we can show them by using the pictures we will be collect in the internet so these are to be the pictures and this visualization is to be very important and observation is very important in the biology the student should observe each and every part so for that i develop to start developing the ppts for all the topics so by searching the pictures videos if i say the porifera the sponge it is to be a cylinder like it has a large opening called osculum it has small pores ostia so explaining everything would not be get to in the mind of the students so once we will show the sponges how it is to be what is the osculum so from where the water will enters into the sponges where it will comes out how it will takes food as it is not moving it is a sedimentary it is an animal so all these things will be only possible by utilizing the ict tools so i will mainly startingly use to start at uh, preparing the ppts for all the topics and i prepared most of the ppts and even the students i taught how to handle the computer so actually students first time they are touching the mouse they cursor they are moving the cursor is also a skillful it is to be very difficult for the first time persons even i 
or train the teachers the first time they came and sit in front of the computer and they don't know how to shut down the computer and how to on the computer so starting from the basic we have to teach each and every point to develop skillfully to handle the computer so as we have the computer lab in one hour at least in a three days a once the students will come they will touch the computer they will browse they will operate the windows they will start to type the notes microsoft windows they learn and i am satisfied that most of the students coming to our schools especially foreign government schools are to be the poor people one thing second one is to be a single parents most of the time and third is to be they are living with their grandfather and grandmothers their parents are to be working in another cities so these students if they would not pass the sslc if they would not pass the sslc definitely their life will becomes completely zero so few students what they learned to handle the windows and microsoft typing they go and working as a data operators in cities so that is to be satisfied thing that they not become a maid in any house they have to be working in front of the computer typing the letters or in dtp centers just they are doing something they learn so that will be motivated the other students to learn the computer because in this new technology era so each and every student should learn the computer handling the computer so even the poor families if they are not able to buy a laptops of course in the private schools the parents are to be from royal families or rich families they will give they will purchase a laptop and they will give to the students but for our students the computer is to be a dream so only if the school will provide the government will provide and we will give the opportunity to work with that computer then only they will learn to handle the computer otherwise the computer will becomes a dream for them so i made all the students to use these computers use the microscopes if it is to be <clears throat> gone wrong or anything will be damages nothing is to be worry use properly learn properly how to use so my students are also well studied uh, well in typing the notes and even typing in kannada our local language and discussing the concepts how it will be understood so on discussing all this i developed the ppts and whatever the ppts are developed so those are to be shared with the teachers on 2013 actually the it for change one ngo and our dscrt project has created one oh, group for teaching science teachers throughout karnataka and they maintained the whole website and they share their knowledge for improving the pedagogy in biology how can we teach this biological science to the students who understood the concept clearly so then we shared all the ppts there also so this is to be the website they have to be maintaining so where we have to be discussed a lot with the other uh, state other uh, district teachers and uh, we shared the different activities what we should can conduct what are the pictures we can develop what are the pictures we will use like that then i created the ppts from standard 8th to 12th so and i shared all those things in the slide share uh, one website is there so i shared on that one so this is to be the my slide okay so there the people of the other states even the students also got the my ppts my videos and they are to be learning the concept very easily so these are to be the ppts created and i create a ppt that is to be mainly a child centric one so for example i will show 
three pictures and i will ask the students they will say sir that is to be the carrot this is to be the radish this is to be the green peach so why the color is different i will ask the questions carrot why it is to be in red in color why it is to be radish is to be in white in color why it is to be in green in color so definitely the curiosity will be developed so why because it will contains the chromoplasts so plastids the plant cells will contains among them the carrot will contains the chromoplast the radish will contains the leucoplast that is to be colorless plastids and it will contains a chloroplast green plastid so the concept of plastids will be explained by showing the pictures only and even the concept of cell if you are teaching a cell i will show the picture of the cell the videos we will get lots of videos in the youtube animated videos we will get 3d videos we will get i will show in the projector to the students how the cell is there cell membrane inside the cell membrane plasma membrane is there inside the plasma membrane we will see the cell organelles so explaining all these things what i will do is just close your eyes and imagine yourself and follow what the instruction i am telling so i will start to tell that in imagination as you are close the eyes you are becoming very small 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 smaller than the cell now you are in front of a cell so visualize the picture what i shown the students are visualizing so as we are in front of the cell the membrane is there that is to be the plasma membrane so enter into the plasma membrane in the imagination we can enter so there we will see a mucus like liquid that is to be the cytoplasm so in the cytoplasm we are swimming and we are swimming 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 we will see a disk like structures what is that that's the mitochondria yeah mitochondria is there so what is doing the mitochondria is preparing the energy is it atps are coming yeah atps are to be developing from the mitochondria it is to be the power house of the cell the question will be asked in all the general knowledge questions everything the power of of the cell is dash the people will if they will understood the mitochondria they visualize the mitochondria then they will write the answers so in the mitochondria enter into the mitochondria so first layer is the second layer is the inside the layer if you go on you will see again the fluid inside the mitochondria we are in the imagination we can imagine we are inside the mitochondria a finger like structures are there those we called as a criste so the students if they visualize completely closing their eyes all the concepts then only he never forget the concept in whole life life he will write any type of questions will be asked on the cell biology so like that we have to teach the students so for that the videos and the images will be helpful for me and i will be regular contact with the students from different regions not only with my school students or different schools different districts with my blog spot is there uh, blogs is there as a mohan bio blog is there so in mohan bio blog if i will open uh, we will see the blog with the uh, way where we will created the videos are to be installed there uh notes are notes is there study materials are there i am conducting the online quizzes for the students i will conducting the online diagrams uh, uh competition for the students on biological science so like this if any doubts are there they will call to my number my number is to be displayed everywhere in my ppts so they are calling me in the videos there my number is displaying so they call their tell sir why sodium chloride we write as a nacl for a zinc chloride we will have write as zncl2 and aluminum chloride we will write as aluminum alcl3 so the concept if they learn not learn basically why it is to be nacl why it is a zncl2 why it is an <coughs> alcl3 they should learn the valencies so valencies ions so i developed the videos on these things so what are ions what are the valencies so how to write the molecular formula 
So like that, I developed a lots of videos. All videos are to be online. And every Saturdays, I will take one hour live classes in the YouTube channel. So few students will be joined. They will ask the questions and uh, they will interact with me. If any doubts are there, they will discuss with me to balancing the equations and what is the mole concept. So how can we calculate the moles? Uh, one mole of water, how, so how we will say one mole of water is to be the 18 grams. So if 18 grams of water we will taken, if we have taken uh, 25 grams of water, how much mole is there? So how to calculate the mole? All these things we will discuss with the students. So the students will understood the concept well in this. And in ICT in field study, so especially in a biology, so if you go on for a field study to the Ranganji 2 or in any way to for bird watching, so there before going to the bird watching, we have to show the pictures of the birds. So especially my desktop is there. The background of the desktop will always changes for an per day one bird picture with their name. When I start my classes, when we start my computer, my laptop, the one bird picture will be appears before the class. The students were seeing that bird, they will see the name of that bird and they will say, sir, that bird I seen in near my house. Sir, this is to be the black, black bill, a uh, black headed ibis. I seen it will comes to near my house. Sir, I seen this one be eater. So like this, if I shown this, my desktop background with the different boards, Definitely, the students will start to identify the boards, and they will be um, they will develop the aesthetic sense of nature. And if the ibis is coming, why ibis is coming to your home near your home? So, is there any pond? Is there? Yes, a small pond is there. So, therefore, the ibis is coming there. Otherwise, if the pond is not there, we won't see the ibis next time. So they will learn the environmental science. So the ICT is helped me even in when I go on for field studies with the students to show the birds, to see the plants, to see the different leaves. So different structure, structure of this uh, trees. So like that. And in the laboratory also, I will use this ICT mainly. The students who are watching the microscopes they don't, they will say, yes, I seen, sir. Some are to be very shy. They will say, yes, sir, I seen. No, without seeing also, they are saying, I seen the slide. So I projected the slide, what you are seeing in the screen, and you should see all these things. These are to be the root tip. This is the meristematic cells. These meristematic cells, please observe one or two dividing cells are there. So that's the characteristic of the meristematic tissue. So once we will teach like this by using the camera, USB camera, microscope, and with uh, stereo microscopes, the students, if they would see Dan only, they will understand the histology, histology that is uh, tissue, different tissues. So simply writing the words, simply on writing blind the blackboard, students would not understand and they will complain. They will say the biology is the toughest subject. We cannot understand the biology because the new terminologies will come. We will say meristematic tissue, parenchyma tissue, colonchyma tissue, sclerenchyma tissue, sclerites, xylem, phloem. So these are to be the new words to the students. How can they will visualize? How can they imagine it? How this will be? So if I say, are you eating parenchyma? The students will get confused. Sir, parenchyma, it is to be in the textbook. How can we eat that one? So what you are eating, the potato is nothing but the parenchyma, storage parenchyma. So cut the <coughs> potato, make a thin slide and will show the cells will be present in there. Those are to be the parenchyma cells and you are also eating the parenchyma. So then only the students will understand, oh, this is nothing but the biology is there in our life. So all whole day what we are eating. So we are eating the xylem. Yes fiber will you eat that is to be the xylem fibers we are eating 
So, sir, I am eating the sclerenchyma. No, we are not eating the sclerenchyma, sclerite cells. So, those are to be the shells, those are to be the nuts. So, what we are not eating, those are to be the sclerites. So, like that. So, we have to incorporate the students with the concept in the daily life also, what they are to be using, what they are eating, and uh, what are the carbohydrates, protein, vitamins. So, like that. So, we sh they should be visualized. So, these are to be the pictures of bacteria or as they are the students are to be watching in the microscopes and also they are watching in the screen what they have to be watching under the microscopes so when i am a student even my teachers were not allowed to touch the microscopes even i came to puc i am not touching the microscopes when i come to bsc the sir professor has told adjust the microscope sir i never use the microscopes Oh, you are where from you are? I am from Gornet College, sir. Oh, those are to be the Ottoman von Beethoven books, uh, microscopes, I think, in that college. So, where, why you are coming from to such colleges? He is insulting us. But now, my rural students who are using the stereo microscopes, then we have the USB cam, we will adjust, the students will focus, they will see live moving par paramecium. So it's very easy to culture a paramecium within a 10, 15 days. The lots of paramecium will become if you take the fresh water and few grasses will be put in that one. So like that. So we have to develop the students to understand the concepts both practically and also by using the <coughs> ICTs. And one more uh, chemistry for a chemistry, a crocodile chemistry is there, a virtual laboratory. In that virtual laboratory, we will conduct all the experiments. Even though if we don't have the chemicals, we can conduct the experiments there, they will show. The one example is that if we put a iron in the copper sulfate, what will happen? It will be displacement reaction will be occurs, a ferrous sulfate will occur, a ferrous sulfate will form. What is the color of the ferrous sulfate? If we sh not shown the experiment practically to the student, how he would understood the ferrous sulfide is to be green in color. So we have to allow them to observe. So like this, the ICT has made me and also every once in a week, I will show the videos of science uh, related to environmental science or any geonet videos. So like the uh, it will enriches the students' knowledge and makes an awareness on the environment. So every week, one hour or two hours, a video, a movie will be there in our schools. So like this, as a ICT uh, master trainer, uh, I conducted the lots of trainings to the, the teachers. Uh, mainly the DAS and CRT has developed the induction one, induction two. In Karnataka, all the teachers have climbed up by the induction. Yeah, very beautifully, they are to be developed the concepts in that one. How to use the computer in the, uh, how to integrate the computer in our teaching. So the first lesson itself is to be the images are a media of interaction. So image, how to use the images, how to use the videos, how to use the audios. So like the, uh, the teachers are to be trained well. So now in Karnataka, most of all the teachers are to be ICT trained one. They are using the computer. They are displaying the, in the projector. The students will be also handling the computer. So all this work, the, my journey from 1999 to Today, today also I am a resource person and I am training the teachers on different pedagogies. And basically now I am working on the FLN, so fundamental literacy and numeracy. So if the fundamentally the students would not be strong, so it is very difficult them to come out with the up higher studies. And even though the highly studying students would also would not understand the questions of the JWEs and uh, neat examination questions because the properly they are not studying they are not visualizing what the concept is there in the textbooks so if they would understood correctly if they would visualize this all these things definitely everything will becomes easy so i am awarded as an ict awardee thanks for awarding me the ministry for an ict awardee and uh, 
I am happy that as a biology teacher, uh, some has to be teasing me why why you are studying, why you want to learn computer. Now I am an ICT awardee, as although I am a biology teacher. So thank you all. This is to be my journey, and my aim intention is we have to teach the concepts that the students should visualize what we thought. So then only he will understand well. Thank you, ma'am. This is to be the uh, my side. Uh, what I know, I have to be discussed. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for uh, describing at length about your journey of being the National ICT Awardee and also the different phases of your life that have brought you here today. A huge congratulations to you in the first place. And, sir, we still have around five to seven minutes left in the conversation, and I have a few questions for you, if you allow me. Sure, ma'am. So, in the first place, sir, I would like to know uh, why do you say or why do we believe today that ICT is the need of the hour? Because uh, ICT itself is a very, uh, students will get attracted to the computer. Students, nowadays, the students are also fast in handling the mobiles, Androids. They are the, create the videos, they have their Instagram accounts, everything is there. So, if we show the concepts in the pictures, in the videos, if we would allow them to use the Stellarium like those, some apps are there, definitely the students will get an interest in studies and definitely the, if we integrate the computer or an ICT tools in uh, pedagogy, definitely the students will understand the concept very well. And sir, how do you see the introduction of ICT into the classrooms when it comes to the teacher-student interaction or uh, increasing communication between them? Madam, two ways we can interact. One is to be online, we can do otherwise in the classroom also. Classroom also, if we are using the laptops in the projectors and also uh, the students, Actually, infrastructure is to be very essential for the uh, developing an ICT classroom. Uh, if we would give one computer for an 10 students, is not a proper way. At least one computer for one student or two students. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Mohan sir, for being a part of this conversation and sharing these important details uh, with all our viewers. Thanks a lot for your time and the valuable information that you have shared with us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with NCRT for this particular live interactive session where we were discussing the journey of National ICT Awardee Teacher. And let me apprise you once again that today in the conversation we were joined by Mr. Mohan K.R. Sir from Karnataka. And uh, viewers, before wrapping up this particular conversation, here is an important piece of information for all of you regarding the availability of NCRT textbooks. So, as you all know that for the academic year 2023 to 2024, NCRT textbooks are available all across the country and you may purchase them directly from the different sales counters of NCRT that are currently located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. Also, if you would like to place an order online for NCRT textbooks, then it can be done through uh, the website that is flashing on your screens as a ticker. It is www.ncrtbooks.ncrt.gov.in and the books for which you placed an order, you will be able to receive them at your doorstep with no extra delivery charges. In case if you would like to download the soft copy or the PDF version of NCRT textbooks, then there are different mediums through which you can do them. One of them is Diksha platform, another one is ePartshala website and also NCRT's official website. In order to know more about authorized vendors and to explore more about the availability of NCRT textbooks, feel free to visit the website of NCRT. That would be www.ncrt.nic.in. Once again, thanking all of you for being with us in today's conversation regarding the journey of National ICT Awardee Teacher. Do not go anywhere because next up we have our special session that is Sahiyog. And uh, Sahiyog, let me apprise you, it is a very special initiative by the Ministry of Education and it uh, focuses on providing guidance for mental well-being and psychosocial support to all the students, viewers watching our programs out there. So keep watching Evidya channels and stay connected with NCRT official. Namaskar.